What's going on YouTube and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you guys another weekly technical talk. Anybody who's seen these videos before, thank you for, support, for your support. Thank you for coming back to catch another video. I really hope you guys are catching some value from these. Um, anybody new to this, this is a weekly technical talk video that I do for my followers. I go over a breakdown of all of the foreign currency major US dollar cross pairs as well as all the pairs that are on my watch list for this coming week ahead. Today is April 28th. The trading week begins on Sunday, April 29th. It's the first week of May. NFP Friday jobs report. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of setups. US dollar had a killer week. Pound got crushed at the end of the week last week. So we got a lot going on. Um, go ahead and tune into these videos. Subscribe if you like what you see. I really appreciate it. Throw a comment. Throw a like. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you want me to cover. I'll make sure to incorporate it into my next video. I'm going to go ahead and jump, in, jump into the charts here and start doing some breakdowns for you guys. This is going to be purely technical analysis based off of what I'm seeing on the charts, what we're going to be looking for for setups this week. Thank you guys. I really appreciate the love. I'll see you on the charts. So getting into the charts here, starting with the euro dollar as we usually do. This is one of the most heavily traded pairs. And as you guys know, it's a pretty heavy fan favorite. Um, we finally did break out of this bullish pennant that we were in. We were looking for a break to the upside, but this 124 resistance did hold. The upper trend line did hold and price did in fact sell out of it. We had a strong US dollar this past week, which is really um, the main story of the week as far as currency strengths go. Um, so with this break out, we did have structure violated right here with this lower low being made. We had this lower trend line broken and we had this structure broken. So we set a new lower low now into a downtrend. 20 cross below the 50, both, both moving averages sloping lower. We are still trading above the 200 SMA. However, this has broken structure. Early terms of a trend reversal have now occurred, broke out of this range. And now what we will be looking for is a pullback to retest this 122 level with a nice short opportunity. This gives us a great risk to reward. This is a very strong zone. We can put a stop somewhere up above this zone. So price would need to violate this zone back up above it in order to stop us out. Put our target down here, maybe around the 119.50 range around here. If you look left, we've got some structure on that level as well. So it could be a good target. Um, but Euro dollar has finally broken out of this range. We can now start looking for some momentum. The dollar has broken up above the range it has been trading in and looks like it could be making a nice reversal in trend as well. If I flip to that dollar chart real quick, just because I'm about to cover all these dollar pairs, you can see what I'm talking about. This long holding downtrend line was broken. We had a nice break of structure, broke out of this bear pennant pattern, did see some resistance on the 200 SMA. If you look left, we also do have a nice strong level in this area as well. However, I do think the dollar will pull back to around 91-ish, and then we can see another sustained move to the upside. I am very bullish on the dollar now, as we have seen this at least initial um, trend reversal move going on here with the dollar. Hopping it into the pound dollar, we have, as I was calling last week, we had a very nice uptrend. However, on the weekly chart, we had a double top forming. We had a bearish engulfing off this weekly 200 SMA and this strong weekly resistance. And that bearish engulfing did in fact lead to another strong bearish week this week. That is in part due to this GDP report out of the pound on Friday that led to a missed expectations. However, the pound did underperform throughout the week regardless. So you can see here this strong Friday bear candle, but we had a back-to-back -back weeks of bearishness out of the pound. We broke this um, intra-trend bullish trend line. We are now coming down to this strong major trend line on the weekly. We're also at a strong support here. So we're at a key critical spot here. Price is a little overextended. This is where we could see a bounce. And on this pair, I'm not as confident as I am with the euro, but we could see this break this trend line, break this trend and continue lower if that strong dollar plays out. Dollar CAD, pretty range bound week. Uh, nothing too critical or important going home. Um, going forward here but you can see that the the bearish engulfing pullback here down to this support at around 128 is what we want to be looking for on the dollar cad here i'm going to be looking for longs in this area as we had a break of structure price above the smas 
and we are now pulling back a little bit. We'll see if we can catch some support in here to show us that we're ready for another impulse leg higher as the dollar is what we're looking for to the upside. That takes us into the dollar Japanese yen. As you guys see, down in this range, I was looking for a break to the upside of the yen as we had this trend reversal going on here. And we finally got it this week. We had a strong breakout. Price continued, and then we saw some exhaustion with a pullback here. What we will be looking for is a pullback right around this 108.50 area with then the next pull push higher with the next higher high. This is a very nice zone to be looking for. As you can see here, it has respected, um, price has respected it in the past, looking left. It is now broken up above it. We're looking for a little bit of a pullback down to this zone. Maybe we touch this daily new trend line we've got forming here as well before we get this next pulse higher. But I do like this pair to the upside. I do think dollar yen could be a nice long this week. But as with most of these dollar pairs, I'm going to give it to around Wednesday or Thursday to get this correction to happen, to get this dollar to correct a little bit and pull back and get ready, reposition for all those longs to re-enter and the dollar to then make the next push higher. Pound Swiss franc continued its explo I mean dollar Swiss franc, sorry, continued its explosive move to the upside. As you can see with these two weeks on the weekly, you can see back to back explosively bullish weeks. Taking it to the daily, you can see as well here with these just bull after bull after bull candle. Uh, really, really strong trend here. We did close Friday with a little bit of a shooting star. And as you see, if we look left, this is in a strong zone as well. So um, with this pair, it's another one. I'm going to be playing a pullback. I would like a little bit of a deeper pullback, maybe to around 97.50 or so in the dollar Swiss franc. I think there's going to be some profit taking that will lead to a decent sell off. Uh, we are far from the moving averages, so that mean reversion is definitely needed. Um, but again, same story, looking to join this trend, looking for a strong dollar, just want to find a pullback to then enter it. Um, pretty much going to be similar across these dollar pairs. Aussie dollar, we did kind of break this downward trend line of this trend channel. It has bullish engulfing bounced off it on Friday, but again, strong move to the downside. Once again, all strong dollar. This is what we're seeing across all these pairs is strong dollar. What we did do with the Aussie, though, is we broke this very significant weekly trend line here this week with this weekly break and close. That is a very significant technical um, happening as we've been in this upward trend. We are now breaking it to the downside, taking it to the daily. You can see this blue line is that weekly trend. What I would like to see happen here, similar story pullback maybe we come up to retest this broken trend line maybe we get even a wick or so to come up and retest this 7650 resistance and then we get a continuation to the downside riding that strong dollar that weak trend on the aussie dollar to the downside and hopefully giving us some more opportunity if you can see a lot a great thing to do with this significant pulse push that this dollar has made this last week is throw a fibonacci onto the move right so we throw this fib onto this strong dollar impulse lower and then we can start lining up what we think are going to be our reversal zones to continue the trend with Fibonacci levels. And you can see this 382 lines up perfectly with where we were looking for price to pull back to. So we could get a 382, which is a very strong trending pullback zone. In very strong trends, we see a pullback to 382. Buyers come in, trend continues. Deeper pullbacks are going to be the 50 and 618. Um, but this is another way to stack up our targets to look for where these pairs are going to pull back to and where we want to look to be entering. <clears throat> New Zealand dollar, US dollar, very similar to the Aussie dollar. These trend lines here are invalidated, but I left them here so you guys can see. This was the falling wedge we were in. We broke out to the upside, retested it, and pushed higher. This looked like it was going to be the move. Looked like we are now back to the bull trend. Price was going to continue higher. However, this is why the markets have to keep us on our toes constantly. Price then reversed and sold completely off back down, breaking this trend line, breaking the bottom trend line, and totally throwing that pattern and that analysis out the window. And now you guys can see we've broken it. We've broken below this nice support level. So again, if we throw this same Fibonacci tool out here on this strong move, we can be looking for price to come back and retest maybe even up into this range of the 382. Very nice structure up there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It could do less of a pullback, could go right below the 382 into this gray zone because we've got some structure looking left. 
but another one we're going to have to wait and play out. Let the first couple days of the week show us what price is doing, hopefully get us two good entry points and show us some better pullback zones. And then we take that entry point and we run with it and we look for long opportunities for the dollar. However, we do have to be playing all sides of the table. So we want to be making sure that we are aware of the fact that the dollar could easily hit this zone and sell off hard and go back down to retesting these supports. So we want to have a game plan in place. We want to be prepared to react, but we need to understand that our entire analysis bias and opinion can get thrown out the window in the blink of an eye and we have to be ready to drop those beliefs and adapt to the next one as we cannot anchor ourselves to any one belief now i'm going to move on to some pairs that i am personally watching for my strategy for my watch list based off trending pairs starting with the cad yen this is a position that i took last week taking it to the four hour you can see a little better I played the break of this counter trend line with this break pullback entered long hasn't done much price is still right around entry we're up about 20 30 pips something like that um, I'll let this trade play out I am still in it taken to the hourly you can see a little bit better price did break out and then chop back broke out chop back so we're in this tight range over here we need to see some better price action but I will be looking to aim for around the 8550 level up here. Taking to the daily, you can see a little better. Back up to this high over here. I'm expecting price to try to make it to. So that is what this trade is. This was in a bull trend after setting this higher high. Pulled back to set this higher low. We got a spinning top, followed by some bullish momentum coming in, showing me that there's a good chance market's going to take it long. And we entered this trade long here. Uh, not much going on, but something we definitely do still want to see how it plays out euro yen not the nicest but it is something i'm watching so we have a new trend now with this higher high we've pulled back to a higher low we have a dragonfly doji candle here so we have what could be a push to the upside this is a strong zone in here for a number of reasons for one look left this red line has it drawn it's a very significant zone for two 132 uh, psychological floor this support is a psychological number very significant and then we also have the 200 sma the 20 sma and the 50 sma all stacked up in this area so this is going to be a very strong area for the euro yen to penetrate and go below as you can see on friday price tried to rejected pushed back up closed where it opened so you can see this is going to be a very strong zone of support and what that tells us is when we're in an uptrend like we are now price is trading above pretty much all the moving averages we now want to look for longs, but we want to look for them on pullbacks. So price set this higher high, pulled back to what now could be a higher low. Now we want to look for long opportunities to ride it back up higher. There's also a number of reasons that's scaring me, though. We've got this big bearish engulfing, bearish momentum candle here that's freaking me out. We have a lot of choppy price action in here, so we don't have a very clear, clean, strong momentum trend. So I'm not going to be too crazy about this pair, but I will be looking on the four hour for a perfect setup and the hourly to possibly get in this trade to the upside and attempt to catch the next push higher of this um, higher low to now higher high. After that, we've got Aussie Yen. This is a very similar type of trade from the CAD Yen. We were in a downtrend. Price came lower low, lower high, was range bound in here, but then we did have price come up here and set a higher high pull back to what now could be a higher low this is what we are going to keep an eye on and this gray box you can see i have drawn here taking it to the four hour you can really see what i'm watching so we price made this nice impulse leg higher we double topped pulled back found strong support here on around 8250 and this range shows us that price is respecting the support consolidating people are lining up their positions figuring out which direction this is going to go next. And I think we could be in for another push to the upside. Getting in down here, we can put our stop below this range. Maybe even you want to put your entry above it if you want extra confirmation. And you look for that break, ride it up to at least this prior swing high here. And you have a nice trade opportunity with this Aussie Yen trying to get in on the early stages of the trend. That is what we want to do as trend followers. We want to identify trends, but we want to identify them early enough that we'll be able to ride the wave. And with this Aussie Yen, we were in a strong downtrend. 
but we did come and violate it here with this higher high now making a higher low moving averages are crossing this could give us a bounce to take us to another higher high and then that could be the early beginnings of a new trend again this could easily roll over fall out from under and totally reverse that opinion but it is something we want to be watching pound pairs we had a strong sell-off across the board this pound yen was a long that i was in last week got out at break even here after this bullish rejection off this level showing that price just didn't want to go higher at that point luckily got out at break even because this sold off really hard on friday especially after that gdp number missed but the pound across the board had some strong, significant momentum sell-off. I'm not looking. A lot of the pound pairs are in uptrends. And although we want to find these corrective moves within uptrends, I'm not looking to enter any pound pair longs right now just because of these strong bearish momentum candles we had close on Friday. This could very easily lose strength. The, the confidence can come back to the pound, and this could give us a great opportunity to enter at discounted rates. However, after this candle, initially, we have to step back, let price take take its next move, show us what it's going to do. And if it opens up on Sunday, Monday, and just continues to sell off, that shows us we do not want to be long the pound. We want to keep an eye out on it because it could show us some good opportunities. But at the moment, we do not want to be long. We want to wait for the right moment. Euro New Zealand is a pair that I really like for this week. As you can see, we have been pretty ugly price action with all this range we've had going on here. A couple of false breaks that looked like it was breaking out of support. That looked like it might have been breaking out of support. So um, definitely want to be weary of it. However, we broke a very significant resistance here at 171, right? So this resistance was broken this past week. We got a tweezer top with a little bit of a correction after. However, that is what we want. We want to see this exhaustion and this correction back down into this zone. And now this is where we'll be looking for price to find support. This broken resistance now turns support. We want to find support here and then try to catch that next pulse higher and try to get in on this um, continuation of this uptrend. Because we were in a nice uptrend. We did get this choppy price action, but we could be resuming this uptrend. Very nice opportunity here if we do so. Euro Aussie, another one that I do still think we are going to make it up to this higher high. We had this push higher. We had this three-day pullback. As you can see, we are now on a very strong level. Where price is at here, you can see resistance, broken support, broken resistance, resistance, broken. Now looks like it could be acting as support, which means that we could get a push now up to at least up here. When we're entering trades on strong support like this, we can put a stop loss down here, target up here, entry around here. We got a great risk to reward for a nice long opportunity. As you guys can see here, this Euro Aussie is just showing a lot of bullish movement, a lot of bullish signs, setting higher highs, higher lows, and just following this trend very nicely. So another pair we're going to be keeping an eye out for opportunities to present themselves. And then we have Aussie Swiss Franc. Um, this was another one I was watching. And really had a nice setup we broke structure with this higher high pulled back to set a higher low we got a tweezer bottom with two spinning top candles those are indecision candles however they back to back formed formed a tweezer bottom reversal candle then we had a nice strong bullish engulfing off of that so this is another one where i am seeing price expected to go up to at least this um prior high at 75.40 this isn't the best risk to reward entering this long in the middle of this move. We would like to be entering down here. However, this does still have a lot of potential upside. We do still have multiple pips that we can catch. So you can try to identify a trade to the upside in this range to try to catch this up to the top. Um, after Aussie Swiss Franc, we've got Aussie CAD and New Zealand CAD, similar setups at support. Strong moves down. We want to look for a little bit of a pullback to enter at a better price to continue the trend. New Zealand CAD, the same story. We're now in a nice downtrend. We're going to be looking for price to bounce off this 200 SMA. In this case, pull back. Maybe we get a nice resistance holding here, and then we catch it to the downside with this trend continuation. Not the best or the cleanest, but these are on our watch list. We're going to wait to see how the week opens, and this is pretty much going to cover what goes on next week. Again, next week is a strong week. 
it is the first week of May, and what that tells us is we have NFP Friday jobs report. We've got a multitude of events throughout the week, as you can see with these red uh, folders. RBA statement out of um, Australia, employment report out of New Zealand, FOMC statement out of the U.S., trade balance, PMI numbers, PMI numbers, trade balance, um, Swiss franc chairman speaks, the monetary policy statement for the RBA later on. So we have all kinds of stuff going on this week. Really, really want to keep an eye on the charts this week as it's going to be heavily news driven. So keep an eye on them. I hope you guys found some value out of this analysis. Please let me know if you like what you see. Subscribe, throw a comment, throw a like, and I'll catch you guys next week in the next video. Thanks for watching these, and I'll see you next time.